Hi, I am Lindsay Hahn, and I'm going to be your English teacher today. I am from the United States of America, from the state of South Carolina, which is in the southeast near Florida, and I speak English as my first and primary language. I have traveled a lot, and um, I've been to about 98 countries and have lived short-term in Italy and in Argentina, as well as in India. I did learn Italian and Spanish as my second and third languages, and so I do understand what you're going through as a student, as I've been there myself, learning to conjugate verbs, practicing sentence structure, and just working on conversational um, languages is definitely something that I've done and something that I would want to help you with as I can understand where you're coming from. My style of teaching is I want to be there for you in whatever way you need me. Therefore, if you need to work on sentence structure, we will spend time doing that. If you need help conjugating verbs and figuring out tenses, I would definitely spend the time doing that if you need to do that as well. If you are more interested in just having a conversation and picking a subject to talk about in order to increase your vocabulary, we can work on that. Basically, whatever you are looking for in your English class, I'd be happy to help you. Today, I do want to do a quick sample lesson on conjugating the verb to be. Now, I do not have the correct equipment with me right now, and so the verb is going to appear backwards due to the video camera, <clears throat> but I would make sure to get that fixed before we have our first lesson. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So the verb is to be, and we're just going to go through and conjugate each, each one. <clears throat> the first one we conjugate is I. I am. The next one is you. You are. The next one is he is or she is. They're the same. Then we have we are, they are, and you as in plural, several of you are. And I just want to point out a couple of things here. I am and he or she is are the only two which are very different. As you can see, the rest of them are the same. It's just are. There's not much to this verb, actually. <clears throat> do want to point out in several languages there's you as in a personal you that you say to your close friends and family and then there's the formal you that you use in business and school and different associations like that um, in English we don't have that we have one type of you and that's just you so when you conjugate it's gonna be the same and then that goes over here as well for the plural when we're conjugating you as in plural it's just the same verb so we just have one type of you even though in several other languages there are more than one type and so it can seem very simplistic when you get to English and say oh there's just one <clears throat> so as you can see I am and he or she is are the only ones that are different everything else is are so I'll go through them one more time there's I am you are he or she is we are they are and you as in plural several of you are. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to talk to you about it. That's our simple lesson for today, and um, we can also actually make a quick sentence with each of them. I am hungry. You are hungry. He is hungry. She is hungry. We are hungry. They are hungry. And you all are hungry. You can see it's pretty simple. The adjective of hungry doesn't even change so um, it's just very simple well, all we're changing is for I and he and she and the rest are the same we just have to make sure to mention each of these as the verb doesn't change that helps specify exactly who you are talking about thank you so much for attending my lesson today and I look forward to working with you in the future thank you